Hello everybody, welcome back to another All Maverick Reaction with me, Alan, and Jez. Hey everyone. We are back with more Last of Us, episode 3, another 80 minute long episode. What, 85, is it 85 minutes, Jez? 80 minutes, 75 minutes, 75 minutes. Another 75 minutes. minutes. Last week we, um, we, we lost Tess, right, right at the end, we saw... Yes, we lost so Tess. So we are down to just Joel and Ellie now, like the somewhat reluctant, <laughs> reluctant Joel now, yeah. Uh, hopefully maybe he's starting to trust her a little bit more after seeing Ellie get bitten a second time and it not spread anywhere near like it had for or not at all not like it had for Tess yeah so um but let's we just dive straight let's in do it for some more I'm interested to see do we start the episode back before the outbreak or do we now go straight in yeah the last two so, have had like little um little flashbacks little vignettes they, so, from before yeah. yeah yeah well let's find out all right Jez you ready to go yes Okay, so this is The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 3, going in 3, 2, 1, go. Is that his attempt at a grave? Like a... I was about to wonder how far it was from Boston, actually, because yeah. obviously it's completely different yeah. scenery, isn't it? I've never been in the woods. That's kind of weird for her. Look, I've been thinking about... I don't want your sorry. I wasn't going to say I'm sorry. I was going to say that I've been thinking about what happened. Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Why'd you get that scar on your head? Someone shot at me in this. See, that's cool. You know, seeing as it's just the two of us, I was thinking I no. should... <laughs> Hang back a minute. I gotta grab some stuff I stashed. If he's not collecting gaffer tape and scissors, then they've really just not been accurate enough to the game. Uh, yeah, no way. You ever play this one? Finish him. I had a friend who knew everything about this game. Is there anything bad in here? Just you. <laughs> the collector just jumps up and rips her face off. Yeah. Nah. That should be a backup. Yeah. At least she's thinking okay. about how she gets back out, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's trapped in a cave in. Oh, that is gnarly. <laughs> Looks really good. Look, I don't go it's close. Very though. cool. Right. Yeah. I thought she was going to go straight in the eye. What? A f what is she doing? Oh, the fungus that's just running through under the skin. It's got a bit of a look of like, please just do me in. Yeah. Ellie? Picked over my ass. She, she, she can handle herself a bit. I mean, if they're trapped. She's not again. She has no issue with uh, with killing one. Yeah. Killing them? No. Holy shit. Oh, look at that plane. Jesus. A few times, sure. So lucky. It's shoved into a middle seat, paid 12 bucks for a sandwich. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. It's a different world to what she could imagine, isn't it? Yeah. So everything came crashing down in one day. Pretty much. If you have to get bit to be infected, then who bit the first person? Was it a monkey? I bet it was <laughs> a monkey. It wasn't a monkey. I thought you went to school. Bedra school? You know, teaches how they're... Shitty government failed to prevent a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, we don't know about that either. Cordyceps mutated. Some of it got into the food supply. Probably a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. There were certain brands of food that were sold everywhere, all across the country, across the world. Bread, cereal, pancake mix. So the tainted food all hits the store shelves around the same time Thursday. People bought it, ate some Thursday night or Friday morning. Day goes on. 
I started to get sick. Afternoon, evening, they got worse, and they started biting. Friday night, September 26, 2003. I feel like they wrote this bit specifically in case for the for people who then you would be like, well, how did this happen? Bloody hell. About a week after outbreak day, soldiers. Oh no, this is. Went through the oh, okay. side, evacuated Great. The small towns. Told you you were going to a QZ, and you were. If there was room. Thank God. If there wasn't. Just fucking shot out. in a ditch. These people weren't sick. No, probably not. Dead people can't be infected. Oh shit, we're gonna oh, see we go. It's literally this group. Bloody baby. Interesting to see him do it this way round. Mm. Not today, you new world order jackboot fucks. <laughs> That, that, that okay, is that's pretty cool. sneaky, that is. Yeah. He's been oh, waiting for this day, hasn't he? <laughs> he's just fucking thriving he's this on this, the thought of this day. Yeah. He's probably masturbated twice before he came out from the basement. Yeah. He's fucking loving it. <laughs> is he at the office? What? No, it's it. No, it's Nick the Offerman, whatever his name is, from Parks and Rec. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the character yeah. so far, though. But that's Bill. He's someone that I'd want to hang out with because he looks like he knows how to survive. Yeah. <laughs> that was fast. Stock it up very early. He's not messing about, is he? Well, I just wouldn't even know what to do with that. Look at the canisters take. He's got like, look, he's got massive canisters. <laughs> Yeah, getting the good stuff. It's not very quiet though, is it? No, I was just thinking that. He's just got himself a town now. But the thing is, if you're in a little town, quite a remote town like that, and everyone's been yeah. evacuated, you're going to be all right for a while. Well, aren't I guess you, that's surely? why he's getting everything done now. What's he doing? There's like 18 booby Mate, traps here. This, this is beyond A team. Yeah, this is no fight. Second montage, is it? He's literally sectioning off the whole town. He's got a fucking curing room. <laughs> I bet he couldn't. I bet he was so happy this happened. No. He's got his fucking Michelin style yeah. meal. There's something about him, though, that you've got to think. Absolute <laughs> fucking psycho, though. He likes to bloody disturb my lunch. Or dinner, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't get off. <laughs> oh, it's not the first no. one, then. <laughs> this. Right, so we jump forwards a little bit now. Eventually, though, you know, things like looters are going to start to become more prevalent, who are obviously got a little bit more of a brain in their head than these things. I'm not infected. I don't care. Are you armed? No. Why did you take that long to answer? I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying to get to Boston. No, he looks suspicious. Yeah. Shoot him in the head. Blow his fucking guts out. Are you hurt? It's just, just a bruise. Nah, he Bang. looks suspicious as fuck he does. Green pretty quick. They did before when they tested the kid, and when they were getting tested by the oh. uh, 
you know, by the oh, yeah, they were, actually, by yeah. the soldier. Yeah. It feels long. I'm letting you go, so go. All right. Look, first, my name's Frank. Oh, yeah? Okay, so there's a thing. Yeah. If I feel yeah, so what, he must stay with him. I won't talk about it to any bums or hobos or vagabonds, I promise. They said Frank was nice, didn't they? That was what they'd said. That's what Joe said. I guess right, I wouldn't want to stay in that hole. I mean, if you had, if you had someone you trusted, like you, I wouldn't want to be there by my bloody self all the time. You just go mental. No. I left some clothes here for you. Thank you. Can I have five more minutes? Sure. This is amazing. Must be good to not have a shower and stuff in so yeah. long. And... <laughs> fucking live yeah. in the high life, aren't they? I love it. Do have a bit of dust in though. No, I don't clean much though. <laughs> I can like just... that. I mean, what did I say? It's been four years. I guess I guess Bill hasn't really socialised in Mind you, he doesn't strike no. me as a man who socialised much before. No. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Everything tastes good when you're starved. <laughs> yeah, but not like this. <sighs> My God. In the post-apocalypse, he cooks better than I've ever cooked. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. Look at him, he's even poor in it, like. A man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. No, you do. Thank you. You're welcome. So I guess I'll be going then. I'd be so good to leave, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. But first, I've been staring at this the whole time. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. <sighs> well, nothing, not a lot, I imagine, yeah. This is you. <laughs> He's a bit like Sounds like Sounds like good advice But there's I quite like that he's not that good <laughs> Yeah <laughs> no, 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 sir No, thank you, sir <laughs> Not this song, not this song Well, I'm not a professional Well, neither am I, but Are you putting your back to him? <laughs> I like that you still don't trust him. I know you say me. I know you say me. I know you say we should trust Frank, but I'm just saying it seems like 13 years on. He was probably like 17 years on. He was still all right. Love will abide. Done everything I know to try and. Did you watch much Parks and Rec? Because in that he had like an alter ego no, where he was like a I jazz see. musician. I'd like to see that intercut with this. Yeah. If anyone could do that for us. <laughs> no, I've seen lots, seen lots of clips, but... So, who's the girl? There is no girl. I know. Oh. Still don't know if I trust Frank. <laughs> what, shank, sh sh shank him in the side. Good night, Bill. <laughs> What's your name? Bill. Okay, I'll trust the tears. I didn't even know his name yet. Go take a shower, Bill. He's putting a bit of meat out of his beard. <laughs> so, I could be completely wrong, but I don't remember... Frank... I don't, I don't even remember if there was a Frank. Uh, I remember Bill living right. alone in the in the game. Oh, okay. I might be completely wrong, because again, it's, I've only ever played it through once, and I, that was when it first came out. 
Yeah. Have you ever done this before? Wow. With a girl a long time ago. Yeah. But so, I want you to know that I'm not a whore. <laughs> so if I do this, I'm gonna stay for a few more days. Fucking bribery, this is. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, that's how I got you to cook me a lot of free lunches, Jez, so it was... <laughs> no. Hey! Would you stop? Do I ask for things? Ever? Why am I even saying that? This isn't... Another three years. This is for us. Yeah. Who cares what they look like? I do! Our home isn't just our house, it's everything no. around us! Give me a fucking break. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I live in this world, you live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! <laughs> I was gonna make a joke that when he came out of the shower, he Nazi saluted and it really ruined it for Frank. I am asking for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower, that's all. I'll do everything else myself. Oh, this place will look like a town out of Walking Dead soon. Yeah. You know, one of those dilapidated towns that all look pristine. This is my street too. Just, just let me love it the way I want to. And I'm fixing up some of the shops. Whoa. whoa Not the whoa. stupid ones, just yeah. the wine shop and the furniture store. Yeah, yeah why not? And the clothing boutique. <laughs> the boutique? You open in a hotel. Are we hosting formal garden parties now? No, but we are going to have friends. <laughs> they might be the raiders Excuse me? from down the road. <laughs> they might turn up in their leather pants and gimp masks, but we're going to throw a dinner party. And we will invite them to visit. Yeah. Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. <laughs> you what? <laughs> well, this really is just, it's amazing. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. No, it's Tess and Joe. Yeah. He's just got my gun, boy. <laughs> I'm the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? I'm not schizophrenic. Uh, gun aside, which I get, by the way. How nice is it? a bit younger there. Civilized meal in such a, a beautiful place. She almost looks like a different person. Yeah. I mean, she's not been battered at this point. Even if we don't end up working together. I really needed this. We are working together. Come and visit my boutique. Let's go inside. Tess, I want to show you something. Excellent. No. I have been wanting to see inside. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank. <laughs> Frank. They've left the two Joels outside. <laughs> I understand. If mine brought strangers into our situation, I wouldn't be happy either. But if all the people you could have found on the radio were actually decent people just trying to get by. There's stuff we have in the QZ that you don't have here. That fence has got a year on it. Tops. If I can get you 10 spools of high tensile aluminum. Last you the rest of your life. Are you sure? She's like, shit, yeah. I need that. <laughs> oh, and I have this idea that we should uh, we should use codes for the radio in case anyone's listening. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh. Yeah, here we go. So it was, it was oh, Frank songs, that was, was sending out oh, them. This is where it's coming from. Yeah. Pedro's never going to come up here. And you're well protected against stray infected. But sooner or later, there will be raiders. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. Oh, I, could, I think what this might lead into, actually. Maybe, maybe. Another three years on. Yeah. I got something to show you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ian Ramaphore, is he? It's quite a stitch. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> oh! oh. I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. Not my favourite gun, Julia. Yeah. Not Brandine. I mean, the good thing is he has an absolute shit ton of guns. I was never afraid before you showed up. Six months later, he comes back with, look, I found some pancake mix in the... <laughs> yeah, <blah. laughs> Shall we have some? <laughs> no, not found the strawberries. That's what I say. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, look. all right. We've got looters, raiders. Oh, fuck, quite a few as well. Loads of them. Oh. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Jesus. Bill! You're trying to find Bill. Bill's already out there. Bill's out there taking some heads. Yeah, he's out there like Arnold Schwarzenegger with his Gatling gun. He's in his ghillie suit. <laughs> Just mowing them down. Just sniping people from a from a from a ditch. Bill might have just got some of his weapons back. Yeah. Well, not specifically. He might have just got some more weapons. Oh, there him. he is. Look. He's There's fucking like... a new he'd be out there. Just... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's, electric... it's electrified as well. Bill! Bill! Get inside! Oh, no, oh, no. Don't... He's taking I a hope bullet. Bill... Bill survives. Bill! we got to get you inside. No. Oh, oh, shit. Shit, okay, right in the good. gut. Frank! I'm right here. Frank! I'm right here. Leave the gas on! I'm right here. Leave the gas on. Right here. The fence... The fence will kill the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 the monster I have created. <laughs> Call... Joel. Uh-huh. You can't be here alone. I'm not alone. You're here. No. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Call Joel. Is there like an exit wound? I'm guessing it's stuck in there still. He'll take care of you. Oh shit, he's gone, isn't he? Okay. Or is he not? I don't know. Can't work out if he was dead there or not. His eyes are still open, but. <clears throat> Right, we're up to date now. Okay. Yeah. We'll get you warmed up. I'm glad Bill survived anyway. Well, I was going to say, yeah. Bill's, because Bill's in the game, right? So I was like, oh shit, well, I don't, killed Bill. I don't know thought, that. Oh no, no, I'm just saying <laughs> I was surprised because Bill's in the game, right? Not that you know. I was just oh, okay. like, oh shit. Like, so if they'd killed Bill, that would have been a bit of a, a bit of a change. Cancer or something? Yeah, possibly. Don't look well, does he? They know just put poor old Bill, bless him. Yeah. It's just getting on though, any Bill. Yeah. Be interesting to know how many ever do they have any more attacks after that group. They are quite remote, aren't they, in terms of the place they, they are, are. So they are quite remote, and I don't. This isn't like. This isn't like uh, Walking Dead in way of. Lots in the way everywhere. of like raiders constantly yeah was that picture supposed to kind of show like the black and white side of bill like the kind yeah. of average you know the guy he seemed when you first meet him and then like the more colorful side when you actually realize i don't know unless you haven't finished it yet <sighs> they obviously haven't seen joel for a while i don't think because i think joel said that it had been a couple of years since they'd been out right to get out of the city <sighs> There was never painting a bit on the wall. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. that one he'd done. Yeah. I don't want you falling asleep in the chair. I won't. You will, and then your feet get blue. No. I'm not fighting about it. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm going to stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. What? What if we find a doctor? What if What if someone shows up who can help? Who's coming, Bill? The door-to-door -door MRI salesman? <laughs> There wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. Bill. As the, uh, their kind of home feels generally warmer now. Like, yeah. you know, Bill was very much a man living in, like, his mother's old house or whatever. Because now, obviously, where they are, it's, like, a lot more art, a lot softer, a lot more, like, you know, mm -hmm. like a life has been lived. I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I have had a lot of bad days. It would fit perfectly in Red Dead too with that look. Yeah. But I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> make me some goddamn <laughs> toast, Bill. Then take me to the boutique where I'll oh, pick outfits great. for us. You'll wear what I ask. <laughs> we'll get married. 
and you cook a delicious dinner. Then you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine, then you will take me by my hand, bring me to our bed, and I will fall asleep in your arms. That's how you're gonna go out jazz with me, just so you know. Yeah, I can't. It must be so hard because like this, there's two of them anyway, and then oh, just yeah. go back to. Do you love me? Oh, just being alone. Like, well, he spent so. Bill was obviously a man who spent so many years alone initially, right? Like yeah. partly through yeah. choice, partly through just the kind of man he was, and now he's gonna be completely alone again. Then love me the way I want you to. Wow, it's looking pretty dilapidated out there now. Yeah. This is like the intro to Up, stretched out over an hour. Mm -hmm. At least he gets to go on his own terms. Yeah. Yep. Bill would have had a pretty different life if he just shotgunned him in that hole. Yeah. That is going to taste like pills. <clears throat> yeah, I think he's put a bit more in that. So he's just hard mess this up. I wouldn't put the right amount. I'd put not get the right amount in there and just make it like seriously like, even yeah. like worse. Yeah, like yeah, if you yeah. like bad like stomach like acid oh, burns yeah. and <clears throat> yeah. Absolutely smash that. To be fair. No going back now, is there? Why are there already pills in the bottle? Oh. Enough to kill a horse. Oh, shit. This isn't the tragic suicide at the end of the play. I'm old. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. I do not support this. Oh, it should be f I did wonder if he was going to do that. Mm. But from an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. <laughs> Take me to bed. I mean, Bill was getting on. He's pretty old now, right? Yeah. <sighs> so they're going out on their terms, eh? Yeah, you know, you've got to... We've been together such a long time. They've got no friends or relatives or... It's no. not even like they walk out of the house and then go and speak to someone in the shop or... Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just that... You'd just be so isolated. He'd be, he'd be living for the sake of living. Yeah. Like... <clears throat> and that's fine if you're young and you've got... There's yeah. hope there. That's something might change, but... Yeah. Oh, we're going to jump. Oh, look. Oh, we'll be... Yeah, we're back, I guess. What the fuck? Bill? I guess that you look at the picture now and you yeah. can see, like, how yeah. the right-hand side is, like, so much yeah. more haggard than the left. And that picture, you know, he's... Stay there. Art skill had obviously yeah. really deteriorated. Oh. Has that been left for Let, Joel? Left for Joel, I would imagine. It's from Bill. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> I figured I fell under whomever. Okay, was this? Is this where all his is this where all his weapons and stuff are? Yeah. Like his supplies. So they're dead. Mm -hmm. You you wanna? I'm gonna read it, is he? If you find this, please do not come into the bedroom. We left the window open so the house wouldn't smell. 
that it would probably be a sight. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> 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 Take anything you need. The bunker code is the same as the gate code, but in reverse. Anyway, I never liked you. But still, it's like we're friends. Almost. <laughs> and I respect you. Crotchy old bastard. So I'm going to tell you something, because you're probably the only person who will understand. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. But I was wrong, because there was one person worth saving. I saved him. Then I protected him. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any motherfuckers who stand in our way. I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep... Tess, it was say. All right. Yeah. Keep Tess safe, yeah. <laughs> I don't like old daddy upset. <laughs> don't call him daddy. Ah, oh, clever. No, it's a bit to the car, but it's the battery. All the parts it? to, yeah, yeah, all the parts to. The battery so it doesn't go to crap. He's a very forward planning man. Yeah. Okay. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble, and I'm heading out there to find him. He used to be a firefly. And my guess is he knows where some of them are out there. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. All right. Uh, listen, about Tess. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you got to follow. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess, ever. Matter of fact, we can just keep our histories to ourselves. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. She's going to get tested again at some point, right? Mm. You do what I say when I say it. We clear? Yes. Repeat it. What you say goes. Not down his little bunker. Yeah. Look at all those guns. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, kind of, fuck it, this is, I'm staying here. <laughs> yeah. Why was the music on? If you didn't reset the countdown every few weeks, this playlist would run over the radio. 80s. Trouble. Dude. No. <laughs> There's a wall of them. Go for the Colt Magnum behind you. You can pop an entire head with one shot from that. They have hot water! Oh, I genuinely thought she'd found a copy of Mortal Kombat from it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, don't you look pretty? Shut up. Nice. <laughs> do, do them pits. Oh, it's not like going on a far from door road trip. Yeah. She looks well excited, like. <laughs> <laughs> Seatbelt. Seatbelt. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You kind of take it for granted, don't you? The idea yeah, of going in a car. Yeah, slow. Like a, yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that I should have been in the yeah. car before. Oh, no, wait. No, leave it. Leave it. Oh, this is good. This is Linda Ronstead. Wasn't that what they were playing on the piano? I can't remember. I think... I think it was Linda Ronstead they were playing on the piano at the beginning. Just there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want that truck. Yeah, definitely. Wow, uh, there we go. That was The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 3. Oh, I, I love that episode. Absolutely that, loved it. That was, that was easily the best episode. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, yeah love, love Bill and Frank. I'm a bit gutted that's... I quite like how it was just a it was just a one episode like start to finish little story for them, but um, yeah, it was almost yeah. An entirely a flashback episode, wasn't it? Yeah, but at the same time, I would have liked to have seen more. But you know, it's, yeah. 
that's what makes it good, I suppose. You've left wanting and yeah. So it's it was... a bit of a bit of a break from the game in a way. Yeah. I don't know these characters in the game, so you know when it, when I thought he was dead on the table, I thought that was that was it. Um, that, yeah, it looked that way. I for a minute yeah. was like, oh shit, they've they've really changed this up. Yeah. I mean, can I tell you anything about the game? Would you? Uh, can we? Can we talk about the? Well, Bill, the Bill's dead. The oh, mate, they're, they're dead. So yeah, you might as well tell me. You can tell me about. So I I suddenly remembered as we were watching it actually because I said, oh, I don't think Frank was in. Frank wasn't in the game, uh, but actually I do remember that they have changed. So you do do meet Bill in the game. You go to the town. Bill is still there. Bill is alive. Uh, okay. Bill was living a lot alone in the town. There's, from what I remember, a whole like minefield that leads to the town. You basically have to go through a minefield to get there for yeah. all these traps and stuff. And you find a letter from Frank, and Frank has left. They've right. had some falling. They never really, I don't think, you know if they were like lovers or just friends that sort of yeah. lived there together. But Bill's still living there. It seems like they've had some kind of falling out or something from what I vaguely remember, and he's left. So then at the end really bill is only in that bit they leave they get the stuff and they leave and move on and leave bill in the town so okay. really the change to this didn't matter because bill then isn't in it again so you know what you know bill being dead didn't make a difference no and i suppose that could just be a time slightly different time yeah. frame could it be like if well, we yeah, well, gone there it could have been like a few months before or something like that yeah or, well or well the whole thing frank was sick but frank wasn't even sick in the game is what i mean frank is like oh, okay. frank has dug frank's just got sick of all bill's bullshit from what i remember right. he's just left they've they've made this much sweeter this is much i prefer nicer. I, well this I is better played the game i prefer this version yeah. but you obviously you what don't you've get described. yeah you yeah. don't get any of the flashback in the game right you yeah. go to the town you you're playing as joel you know there's a town you, you know bill and you go to visit bill who's the mad guy that basically has taken over a town to get supplies you meet bill some stuff happens you fight some monsters you fight some clickers and you leave you know it doesn't have any of all this backstory which was obviously yeah. this entire episode which was you know a really nice thing to have right because it didn't yeah it didn't change it didn't really change the narrative but so apart from the beginning and the it. end obviously there was there was the you yeah know, there was a little bit with with joel and tess at the you know when they when they first went to visit them and stuff but yeah and there's a couple of comments made um about them but yeah it just felt like a nice uh bill and frank episode and um, self-contained I, I kind of yeah I was, I was just lost in it and completely forgot about everything else that was going on with you know joel yeah. and mm -hmm. all that lot and yeah really enjoyed it it's good it was almost like it was almost like a movie to be honest yeah. with you it was quite, yeah. you know what, I, I think, you know, that was like solid performances from everybody as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I think Nick playing Bill, I think he did a great job. Like, I don't know, that's the kind of, that's the kind of role you could see getting some kind of like award for like, you know, guest star appearance in something, yeah. you know. I thought the, the makeup as well, I thought it was just done really well with their <laughs> yeah. aging over the years. Um, cause yeah. You know, there, was two, there was two small jumps, wasn't there? Then there was the big 10 year jump. Mm -hmm. Like the beginning as well. Actually, I like to Ellie basically saying to Joel, "Don't you chose to take this job? Like, yes. don't don't yeah. fucking blame me for which you know is 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 fair, right? No, like, it is not... fair. It, need, it needed to be said. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was hoping it wasn't going to go down that route of him just resenting her the whole time. Yeah, um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Which is no, no, no. Which um, I'm really pleased with. We got a little bit more backstory about what happened that day, how the virus was spread. Um, little bit odd in a way still I think like because it all really happened over one day for the most part and I think it felt a little bit like not in a bad way but it felt a little bit like the people making the show went right we're putting this in just to shut up anybody who might question yeah. how it happened so they were saying obviously it was in the flower and it was in food and I liked how that called back to the first episode where they were going to have pan breakfast pancakes but didn't like yeah I you know it was a subtle thing They've had to do something for the show to try and explain to people how it all happened and how it all happened on one day. Yeah. I, you know, I, I like the fact that, you know, clearly on episode one, they, you know, they had run out of pancake mix and he didn't bring the cake home, which had flour in. Yeah. Um, you know, you saw the old lady next door having the, like the biscuits. And oh, the she was having the made. biscuits. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Part yeah. of me also does think that. It wouldn't you know, happen on one day. The still, infected though, flour wouldn't have all just gone on the shelves on one day, and everyone be eating it on one day. You no, know that would but have, I'll, like you know yeah. you know how stock works. That that happens over, especially something like flour that happens over weeks and weeks. Especially weeks, going so. to different countries, right? Yeah, like but, um, wherever it's produced, it will. Wherever it actually is produced, it will meet. It will be in the yeah. 
shop sooner than where it yeah. has to be. Watching Bill just come out from <laughs> his double basement and be like yeah. new, new world order motherfuckers or whatever yeah. and then just <laughs> I like that bit. instantly going to preparation mode was great and i liked his um clear protection how protective he was over frank like that when yeah. the when the people were coming yeah. um and they were attacking the place you know you you know you probably think your natural instinct would be like right the more people you know both yeah. of us with guns would be better than just him but it was he was literally out there just trying to deal with it just getting shit know. done just, just getting cook, shit done. He's just cooking with, people he's and getting shit done. Rifle, just with like people on fire and just like <laughs> popping them off yeah. one by one. Like I say, it was like Kevin from Home Alone, like dialed <laughs> up to dialed up to eleven. Oh, I loved it. I love that long montage it had of him just like kind of creating that place and. Oh, um, that's what I mean. Like yeah, cutting down yeah. the trees, putting up the fences, going yeah. and getting all the get. Like as soon as everyone went, I mean, it's pretty sad in the first place, right? Because we saw Joel find all the bodies. And there was like the baby yeah. and the mother. And we found out they were all people that were taken from that town, from that basically. Town. Yeah. But yeah. then, yeah, Bill just came out of his basement, got in his truck, went and got his cable, went and got his gas, got food, got wine, got all the stuff that he... He knew the shit he needed. He, that, he just knew all the shit he needed. Yeah. Like I said, he's been preparing for that. Doomsday that, prepper, his right? Life. Yeah, he's, he's been waiting for that. Yeah. Um, it was also interesting to hear, actually, that uh, Frank said that the Baltimore QZ had gone. That's why he was there. Like, they obviously right, had a quarantine okay. zone in Baltimore. Yeah. And the reason he turned up there because he'd originally been a group of ten, part of a group of ten, and it had you know it had gone because it had obviously been overrun or something had happened there. So obviously we spoke about the other day, last episode about have there been more QZs and stuff yeah. like that, and obviously some have failed, whereas some haven't. But no, it was yeah, it was a it was a real like heartfelt yeah. story, like you know a guy who obviously never knew his place in the world really. Like he said, right? Like he hated every motherfucker in the world. And uh, then he found one person that was worth saving. And yeah. like we were saying, it's not like, I don't know, you can get in a situation now where maybe that's the only person who you've got. But that really is the only person yeah. Bill had. You know, and w if he goes on living after Frank has died, he's just living to live. He's not, yeah. you know. And sometimes, like, winning doesn't, uh, living doesn't mean you've won. You know, like the longer you live, doesn't make you the winner, right? They went yeah. out on their own terms. Yeah, so, yeah, they went out the they went out the right way, didn't they? Yeah. At, at the end, we saw obviously. I really liked the little bits of how excited Ellie was to be in the car. Yeah, I like, really enjoyed just that. Just the look of a the yeah. look, look of like joy on her face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and she's also snuck a gun though, so that's obviously gonna come up somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna piss off Joel yeah. at some point. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Especially yeah. after she just straight afterwards said. I do what you say, basically, right? Yeah. That's what she agreed to. She's going to go with them as they go to continue to find Tommy um, to try and find links to the Fireflies now. So, yeah. No, really, really solid episode. It's funny because you could basically take that episode out and just not have had it, right? You could. Oh, of course you could have done it, yeah. But it would be a substantially worse series for not having that. And that's yeah. where, like, people talk about things that are filler. And, like, yeah, you could in a way say that was filler. But, like... It's about as good as filler as you're ever, you know. I'm not, you know, calling it. I don't mean calling it filler in a bad way. I mean, as in, like, if you want to put something that pads out a story, that's how you do it, right? You know, it it gives you more. No, really good episode, best of the series, I think so far. Yeah, looking forward to. Um, they've all been solid, haven't they? I was looking forward oh, yeah. to, yeah, seeing them on the road next episode. Yeah, on the yeah. road in episode four. Anything else you want to say about this one, Jess? Nope. No. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please remember to like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Is this your favourite of the series? Any favourite little moments in there? There were some nice little little nods throughout to the, these characters' lives together. 17 years condensed quite nicely into an hour. I can see why this episode was an hour and a quarter now, Jez. There's yeah. a lot to get in there. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, please head over to allmaverick.com where you can check out our videos, our blogs, and our podcasts. And if you want to come and watch us play some of our favourite games, head over to twitch.tv forward slash allmaverick.live on a Tuesday and Thursday evening where we are playing some of our favourite games. You can watch Jez get terrified playing uh, Outlast or any other kind of horror game. Plus, we're always playing some silly stuff too. So please stop by. And if you want to come and talk with us directly about this episode and other TV shows or games, anything like that, then look in the description below for links to all our social channels, including our Discord server. Jump on there and come and talk with us directly about The Last of Us. Yes, that'd be cool. Cool. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. A pleasure as always. And we will see you next episode. We're next episode, next week with episode four. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for everyone.